Graveyards? Creepy. Spiders? Creepy. Abandoned churches? Creepy. Combine all three and we're gonna find ourselves in the middle of a horror movie. My name's Brent Tim and today we're going searching for giant spiders and bugs in a Guatemalan graveyard. Before we begin, I just want to make clear that because we're in a graveyard in a sacred place, we're going to treat it with the respect that it deserves, and that goes for the same with any insects or bugs that we find. We're not going to disturb any of the wildlife here. Every creature that we're going to identify won't be poked, prodded in any way. We're just going to observe them in their natural environment. Also, I would greatly appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button so you can keep supporting my journey to creepy and crawly places just like this. I've spent the past week exploring the small mountain town of Lanquin, Guatemala, and happened to stumble upon this graveyard a few days ago. Walking through these sacred grounds, I was really mesmerized and fascinated by the ornate colors of all the mausoleums here, the fact that most of the graves are actually above ground, so it made me start to have an interest in kind of how Guatemalan culture honors their dead. And since Guatemala is full of so many creepy and crawly creatures, I figured where would be a better place than a graveyard to try to dig up some of these insects. Hopefully by the end of today's video, you're gonna have a better idea of what kind of insects you might find in Guatemala, and also have a better understanding of Guatemalan cemetery culture. Woo! Okay, we've got our first spider sighting, and this is easily one of the biggest spiders I've ever seen. I think it's a banana spider. As I was walking through the graveyard, I saw this kind of light reflect and it revealed, the, whoa, okay, a lot, a lot of things dropping from the sky here. Um, I, and I saw like light reflect off this cobweb and I quickly realized that it was absolutely massive. So check this out. I mean, look at the size of this creature. Look at the color pattern on it. Can you imagine waking up with one of these bad boys in your bed? <laughs> That's it, it's a wrap. I can't be certain, but in the web, it looks like there's also a ton of spider eggs just waiting to hatch. Not gonna stick around to see what those births look like, um, but wow, this, this, this is a proud mama right here. She's about to have a big old family. No exaggeration, but these hills are alive. All around me are crazy sounds from stray dogs hauling, so many like small creatures moving about in the canopy, things rustling in the leaves on the ground. So you'll notice that the graves here are really colorful a stark contrast to what cemeteries are like back in the United States. You won't find any gray tombstones here. When a person dies, uh, in Guatemalan culture, the favorite color of the deceased person uh, is the color that the mausoleum, the tomb, or, or the casket is painted in. From what I can tell, this graveyard is at one of the furthest most points in the entire town of Lanquin. Uh, going anywhere further up the hills, I've been told that there's bandits uh, that may rob you, uh, and also that the farmers here are very protective of your land. Uh, so you may wander onto a farm without even knowing it, and the farmers are known uh, to kill or shoot uh, any trespassers. So we're definitely going to stay away from anything in the hillside. Uh, there is an area up there where it looks like the cemetery ends and the hillside begins. <sighs> I don't think we're going up there today. You should not either. Here it looks like what might be some sort of family plot. As you can see, the two uh, tombs on the bottom uh, are occupied. Meanwhile, there's two open spaces on top. Uh, and just walking throughout here, it seems like these can be stacked up to three uh, and four people high. Not only am I worried about what's above me and what might drop from the trees, I'm also worried about what's on the ground and what I'm gonna step on. Uh, definitely no rhyme or reason or paved paths in this graveyard, uh, so obviously I want to be respectful and not step on anything sacred. Uh, but at the same time, I have heard that there's a lot of poisonous snakes in Guatemala, even vipers. No idea if they exist in the hillside. I have seen a lot of little lizards running around. Uh, but yo, the last thing I want to do is step on a snake, uh, or even worse. I'll take spiders. I can deal with spiders. Snakes? That's, that's a whole different ball game that I do not want to play a single inning in. I have not seen a single other human since I've been here, which kind of adds to the creepy level. Uh, I'm telling you, if you were to just listen to the sounds of this place without even seeing it, you'd be freaked out. Yo, this might be the most beautiful insect I've seen so far. This is some sort of giant black and yellow caterpillar, and judging by its movements, it looks like it's maybe trying to either defend itself from some of the insects that are flying around it, uh, or trying to eat those insects as well. Oh, look at the dexterity, look at the way it moves. 
that is a beautiful insect. It appears a lot of the graves here are decorated with fake flowers. Some of the flowers are new, but a lot of the tombs that I'm seeing here have like fake flower wreaths uh, thrown around them. There's also been a few mausoleums, tombs uh, that have beer bottles on top. Uh, I don't know if that's just people that came here to drink and were littering, uh, or if there's something symbolic in nature in terms of, you know, maybe having one last beer with your best friend. A lot of the graves here have markers, names, or pictures on them, but there's actually a surprising amount that are just completely unmarked, no idea who or what uh, is in the grave. Um, so interesting and also very sad at the same time uh, to not have any idea who is in there. Just thinking about being buried in an unmarked grave um, definitely makes me feel a little bit sad. Um, it also makes me kind of stop and reflect on the kind of life that I want to live uh, in hopes that, you know, I keep enough people and friends around me so that at the end, I certainly don't end up uh, nameless, and faceless, and essentially forgotten. So, something to think about, what kind of life do you want to live, and how do you want to be remembered after it's all over? I wasn't able to find a clear answer why the graves are above ground, uh, but it seems to really come down to cultural and family preference. I keep trying to look in the cracks of any of the rooftops, any of the corners, just to see anything that's moving, um, but I think in the case of spiders, you know, many of them are just waiting, just literally laying in wait, waiting for anything to come into their web. Uh, they're not exactly moving and a grooving here on the Sunday morning. If anyone watching is from Guatemala or Central America, uh, please comment below or shoot me a message. Uh, I'd love to learn more about graveyard culture here. Uh, in the United States, the cost of death is extremely high. Don't ever die, you'll go broke. Uh, but I'm curious what the cost of getting a plot in a place like this would be, as well as understanding the cost associated with burial in a place like this. All right, check this out. This is by far the biggest nest that I've seen, or a hive, not sure what it is, not sure what kind of insects uh, are swarming around it, but there are a ton of them. Most are crawling, but a few are actually buzzing around it. Not sure if it's like larvae or what. I truly can't imagine what's inside of that nest just because it's so massive and there's so many insects on the outside. Uh, my brain would like to believe that there's some sort of giant like maggot fly queen in there. Uh, but most likely it's probably a lot less exciting. They're probably storing food in there or something. But you can bet when I get home, I'm gonna investigate and find out what those are. And that's that. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it, even though I feel like I need to go home right now and take about a three hour shower and scrub every part of my body. Uh, hopefully this video doesn't give you nightmares. Hopefully it doesn't give me nightmares. My name's Brent Tim from Lankin, Guatemala, and I'm saying ciao for now.